Hello guys, welcome to Code Studio. We have started end-to-end -end machine learning project playlist where we will discuss about complete life cycle of machine learning project. Like start from you know requirement gathering, solution design, code development, deployment and its maintenance. Okay. In this session, we specifically discuss about what is machine learning, project life cycle and also we will see one of the example of problem statement or a requirement and its a solution design. Okay. So basically, this is the life cycle of you know machine learning project development. It starts with uh, defining a task, like what is the requirement or a problem statement and its feasibility. Okay. I mean, in this stage, basically the client will you know share the uh, problem statement or their requirement, and based on the requirement or problem statement, the analyst will try to build a possible solutions and will check the feasibility of their uh, their solutions. Okay. Once these activities are done, they will move to the next step that is called, you know, collecting the data. This will be the second step, okay, where we discuss about what are the data sources to get the data like, you know, it could be a uh, files like, you know, CSV, XML or JSON, or it could be, you know, data uh, from databases like MySQL, Oracle, etc. Or also the devices like, you know, mobile devices or some third party tools. It is one of the most important step. In this step, we also validate uh, the quality and quantity of the data. We build the ingestion pipeline, like you know, pulling the data from a data sources, validate the data and its format, transform the data as per the requirements, etc. And finally, store the you know the raw data into a database for a ML users. Okay. Now the third step, that is a model exploration. In this step, once we get the raw data from a step two, okay, we perform an exploratory data analysis on a given data to understand the uh, data pattern or the features or input variable behaviors, which help us on building a model and the model selections, like whether it is a regression or, or a classification or a clustering. And also we perform a data pre-processing activities like, you know, uh, finding a missing values and a filling with the possible values, handling of categorical features, finding and removing the outliers, feature selections, all these. Okay. Once we perform all these uh, activities, then after we try to build a basic models. And if the basic models does not give a good results or accuracy, then again we reach to the step two to collect the more or less features. And we'll re repeat the task again. Okay. Step four, that is a model re refinement. That means once we get the possible models, then we apply model specific optimization technique called a hyperparameter tuning to get the best results from the models and they get the best model out of you know or the given models. This also may be you know repetitive if results are not good. Now, once we find the optimized model, the next step would be, you know, that is our fifth step. That is, you know, testing and evaluation. We are evaluating the models on the test distributions and cross verify our predicted values with the actual test results. If everything is good, okay, then we deploy our model into the production. Okay, that is our uh, second last uh, step that is called deployment and integration and ex expose the models via either REST API or through the uh, UI. And last but not the least step is, you know, model maintenance. Once model is deployed, we need to monitor its predictions and try to retrain the models whenever it is required. Okay. So guys, this is all about, you know, uh, the project life cycle of, you know, machine, de machine learning development. Now we will see one problem statement and its solution. And for that, we will implement the end-to-end -end machine learning project. Okay. So here is a problem statement to which we are going to build end-to-end -end machine learning project. The problem statement is one of the company want a machine learning model to predict their employee retentions based on some of the HR inputs. Okay. As we know that, you know, the larger companies uh, contains uh, thousands of employees working for them. So taking care of uh, their needs and the satisfaction of each employee is a challenging task for HR department. It results in then uh, the important and the talented employees leave the company without giving any genuine reasons. Okay. To overcome this, so basically the company want a machine learning model to predict the retention of employee within an organization. For this, uh, they will use the data of previous employees who have worked for the company and by finding a pattern, it, a pattern in it, predict the retentions in the form of yes or no. Okay. So basically these are the few data input points like, you know, satisfaction level, last evaluation, number of projects, work accident, promotion last five years and salary. And also to train the uh, model, we also have an output variable called left. Okay, the value would be either one or zero. One means the employee is left and zero means he's still continuing the organization. Okay.
so here is the following expectation from the client okay so that is once the model is built okay uh, they want the rest api to train the model using a training batch data set whenever they want i mean they want a rest api so that in in future whenever they want to retrain the model they can you know provide the training data set to retrain the model using a rest api okay and the second expectation is rest api is to predict the results using a prediction batch set i mean once they want a model should be predict the results for a multiple employees at once there should be an a rest api for that okay i hope you guys understand the problem statements and its expectation now we will see the solution design for this uh, problem statement so here is a, pro a solution design for this requirement so we will try to understand the individual blocks this is the first section of uh, the solution design okay and the first stage is another raw data for a training this stage basically the client will share the multiple files in a one designated uh, directory to train the model we call these files as another raw training data set we will build the schema file okay which describes about the number of columns available in the training data set and name of each column with its data type and uploaded this into the one, one of the designated directory basically uh, the schema file is nothing but the file which uh, you know describes about the structure of uh, you know the uh, training data set okay which includes a number of columns uh, name of the column and its data type once we receive the files on a designated area or directory now we will do the data validation and transformation activity for that we will write a python class to read this data uh, data of training data set and perform the following validations such as like a you know, number of columns name of the columns these validations will be done by you know comparing the training data set uh, column numbers and the column names by comparing with the uh, the schema file the training schema file which includes the number of columns and the uh, column name if any above validation is failed okay file uh, should get uh, rejected and move to the another another directory called you know or the training reject say once the files are validated the success uh, successful file should get stored into the database okay so why we store into database basically we store these you know the validated training data set into database so that you know we could use the same data set in future for to retrain the model let's suppose uh, today we have processed that 1000 lines to train the model okay after 6 months let's suppose client come up with a, another new set of records or say 500 okay in that case our model should get trained with you know our old 1000 plus new 500 records and for that purpose we store uh, these uh, training data set into the database in this project we are going to use the sqlite database okay and to achieve this you know we write another python class okay which will do following uh, task like you know creating a database creating a, a table with its column names okay by uh, by checking the uh, training schema file and if there is any issue while uploading the files okay uh, then the rejected files also should get moved to the uh, rejected directory that is called training direct uh, training rejects once all validated files are loaded into table okay then after then after we will generate a one common csv file from this table okay so that it could be used to train the model so this is my second section of uh, solution design okay data pre processing we will write a python class to perform following processing activities like you know checking the null values if present then impute those null values with you know either a knn Im impute approach or other possible approaches also we'll try to handle the categorical features and uh, splitting the data set into the train and test set clustering and model building and model save for this also we will write a, a new python class to perform you know the model selection technique and the save the best models for this we will uh, cluster the processed uh, data and apply the assembling method to use a multiple learning algorithms to obtain the best predictive performance k mean algorithm is used to create a clusters in the process data the idea behind clustering is to implement a different algorithm to train the data in a different clusters after clusters are created we find the best model for each cluster we are using uh, two algorithms that is called random forest and exiboost okay so in my in my next session we will see like uh, the why how, how and why do we selected these two uh, algorithms okay for each cluster both algorithms are passed and the best parameters derived from the grid search cv we calculate the score of these uh, models these both models and select the one of the best model based on its uh, best score okay so best model will be uh, saved for every cluster okay 
this is my third section of uh, the solution design where we talk about the prediction uh, solution okay so raw data for a prediction uh, in this uh, stage also you know the client will share a multiple files in one designated area for a prediction uh, results okay we call this as a prediction data set here also we will build a schema for a prediction files okay where we will contain the number of columns and the name of the prediction uh, file uh, column names then after we use the same class what we have used in the tra uh, training uh, uh, to validate and they transform the raw data set also use the same uh, python class to store the validated data files into database okay and export the uh, csv file export the one C one common uh, csv file for a prediction in uh, to store the data file this prediction files into database we will use a, a new database uh, name as well as we'll also create a new table to store the prediction data files okay then after here also we will do the data pre-processing activity for that we will use the uh, same uh, class okay what we have used for uh, uh, training the model and uh, and here also we will try to handle the missing values and the categorical features this is our final uh, section of the uh, solution design the model call at this stage we try to find the cluster number uh, by clustering the pre-processed data and based on the cluster number we will load the uh, you know cluster selected model which was uh, saved in the training uh, model so based on the cluster number the respective model is loaded and is used to predict the data for that cluster okay so once the prediction is made for all the clusters the prediction along with the employee id are saved into the csv file at a given location okay so this is all about the you know the solution design and one more thing like you know at every step we will try to store the log message in the log file and for each run there will be a one log file to get them so guys that's all for today's session in next session we will try to uh, see the exploratory data analysis and you know a basic uh, model building okay if you like my video please like on uh, and click on like button and also subscribe my channel thank you so much